my friend was asking me the other day and I thought it was quite funny. She said, Sophie, what on earth are you going to cook this time? I said, listen, today I am going to make you a Western African dish that you are going to love with chicken and it is called Marfi. This is absolutely wonderful. I am telling you, it has got peanut butter. That just that dish is just absolutely delicious. You have to first deal with the sauce, which is going to be uh, tomato based. So you will put in a mixer some tomatoes, half a red pepper, half an onion, and you mix all of this. When this is mixed, you set it aside and then you will add the spices. In the meantime, you want to make sure that all of the vegetables that you're going to put into your mafi, like the onions, the red pepper, and also some carrots, I think is a nice touch as well. You're going to get them ready and prepare them, chop them thinly and put them aside. Now with the chicken. I am using two chicken breasts because I um, I've done for my husband some of the chicken thighs, I think, and he did not like it. So maybe you will prefer it, I don't know. But for me, I am using the chicken breast, which I will first um, sear because I want it to be nice. I don't want it to just be white, you know, in the dish. I want it to be seared. I want it to have a nice color for you so that, I mean, the change, the taste is not going to change massively. But I'm thinking that for you, it's nicer to see that in pictures. So I sear the chicken first and then you will put everything together. Mix everything and then you add some chicken stock and so the, the ingredient, the, the, the prize ingredient, which is peanut butter. Now for peanut butter and for people who have diabetes uh, type 1, you, um, you have to be careful with peanut butter because peanut butter has got a lot of fat and a lot of protein. So it will increase your blood sugar if you have too much. So I am going to link down in the description below, description of the video, I will link obviously the ingredients but also the carb content and the fat protein index for those that are interested. Right, so anyway, once you have put the peanut butter, you will mix it and since it's going to be hot as well, it will melt it, it will be, it will be easier. So don't worry if your peanut butter is a little bit hard, it does not matter because in the, with the heat of the dish, it will kind of dissolve. So you just need to mix it and it's fine and cook it until the vegetables and the chicken are done. You can have it with basmati rice or brown rice. They will not increase or they will not uh, spike your blood sugar. So they are fine to have with. Most importantly is I really recommend that you try it because, and, and also the smell, the smell is wonderful. Thank you so much for watching my friend. I hope you have enjoyed it. I will see you next week in my new video. You look after yourself.